Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab. Today we're going to be studying the fifth grade science book, Mixtures and Solutions, Investigation 2, Developing Models, Part 3, Models for Change in Properties. Question, what is the difference between dissolving and melting? Let's find out. In today's investigation, we will be looking at two different processes. One is melting and the other is dissolving. And the challenge for you is to develop a model to explain the difference. Remember in previous investigations, we observed the interaction between salt and water. Salt is the solute and the water is the solvent. The salt disappearing in the water is called dissolving. In this investigation, we will be using a piece of candle, a pebble, a chocolate chip, a sugar cube, a piece of butter, and water. Look closely at this sugar cube. You will notice that it is made up of a bunch of granules of sugar. Sugar can be further broken down into molecules and atoms. In fact, everything can be broken down into molecules and atoms. Sugar is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Imagine that this sugar cube is you and a group of your friends going to a dance. Once you arrive at the dance, you and your friends immediately start to mingle with the water molecules, which are the other people at the dance. Little by little, more and more of the sugar molecules take off and start dancing with water molecules until you no longer see the sugar molecules because they've all disappeared onto the dance floor with water molecules. Again, dissolving is an interaction between two substances. Next, let's look at melting. Melting is very different from dissolving. Melting is a phase change which requires heat. So here I have a hot cup of water. Now let's go back to our dance analogy. This group called the butter molecules arrives at a different dance. They like to dance and they visit other groups, but they don't totally interact because they're not the dissolving types. Besides, water molecules were not invited to this dance. Next, we have the groups called the candle wax and the chocolate chip. They didn't really come to dance. They just came out to hang amongst themselves. But at the dance, it gets hot, so they start to loosen up a little, especially when someone comes to stir them up a bit. Now the last group enters the dance. They don't really want to dance, so they just stand close together like a rock. But who knows, maybe someday they'll dance if the dance floor gets hot enough. So there you have it, the difference between dissolving and melting. Dissolving is an interaction between two substances and melting is a phase change due to heat. Create your own atomic model or what you think happens to atoms of our items when they melt or dissolve. I hope you enjoyed our investigation for today. Until next time, have a great day.